right, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our Master of Chiropractic uh, Information session for this evening. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to join us, and um, we hope um, that we can answer your questions and show you a bit about what um, our Master of Chiropractic program is. Before we get started, I'd just like to um, say on behalf of this gathering, I'd like to acknowledge the First Nations people of Australia and the elders past, present, and emerging. Uh, my name is Gareth and I'm a current Macquarie University student and I'm also a student ambassador and today we're very fortunate to have Dr. Rosemary um, Giriato who is here to explain a bit about the Master of Chiropractic degree. Um, she is the uh, department manager for the Master of Chiropractic. Um, we will have a live Q&A at the end of this session and that was an opportunity where students can pose some questions. Um, you can also put your questions down in the chat at the bottom of the screen and we'll be able to either type or verbally um, answer those questions. If you do uh, miss anything in the session, don't worry, this session is being recorded and you will receive an email with the recording at the end of the session. If you are um, concerned about being recorded, don't worry, you can just turn off your microphone and your video and you won't be part of the recording. Um, if you have any more questions that come up after the presentation, we'll share our contact details at the end of the session and we'll be able to get back to you. Um, now I'd like to introduce today's presenter, um, Dr. Rosemary Giriato. Okay, thank you very much, Gareth. It's my pleasure to take you through uh, the Master of Chiropractic de degree program. And as Gareth said, there'll be lots of opportunity at the end for any questions that you may have. So I'm currently the head of Department of Chiropractic. I'm also the director of clinics. So I oversee the clinic internship unit, which is the final year of the program, as well as all the preclinical units that are taken in the second last year or the penultimate year of the program. Um, but what I would like to do now is take you through a little bit about what chiropractic is. And I'll just see if I can get that going. So um, for those of you that don't know, chiropractic is a health profession that concerns itself with the diagnosis, the treatment and the prevention of mechanical disorders of the musculoskeletal system and the effects of these disorders on the function of the nervous system and in general health. In chiropractic, there is an emphasis on manual adjustments or manual treatments, including spinal manipulation and adjustment and other joint and soft tissue manipulation. So the way we decide what we're going to do when it comes to treatment is after a result of a number of different diagnostic tools being applied. These include taking of a patient history, where we interview the patient, we then decide and undertake a physical examination. And this examination includes neurological screenings. It can also include x-rays. It can also include referral to other practitioners if required. This then allows us to decide what we're going to do when we decide to treat the patient and whether this does include joint manipulation or mobilization, whether it includes soft tissue releases, and also our treatments are often accompanied by stretching, strengthening and rehabilitation programs. So what will you study if you decide to take the Master of Chiropractic degree? Um, lots and lots of the undergraduate work will be refreshed. So the basic sciences we would expect to have covered in the undergraduate degree that you have taken or in our own undergraduate Bachelor of Chiropractic degree. So in the masters, we focus obviously on chiropractic science, which are the technique units. The largest component of the master's program is the clinical internship or what we call clinical practice. And this is a 12 calendar month uh, period of time in the final year. So it spans from November one year through to November the following year. It, we close for Christmas and New Year, but otherwise we work across semester times. It also includes the subjects of neurology, orthopedics, professional studies, radiology, rehabilitation, research, and sports medicine. The two avenues of entry into our chiropractic program is either the two year, uh, sorry, the completion of the Bachelor of Chiropractic Science, and those students continue on to a two year Master of Chiropractic degree, or those people that enter for the first time to study chiropractic who are already holding uh, a degree in health or medical science. Uh, if this degree contains sufficient physiology and anatomy and a grade point average of four out of seven or equivalent, then they're offered the opportunity to, act, to actually bypass the three undergraduate Bachelor of Science degree 
and actually study the three year masters instead. So instead of doing three years of a bachelor's degree followed by two years of a masters, those people can enter at the masters level and complete three years. So at the end of the masters uh, program, you qualify to be registered in Australia as a practicing chiropractor. And the majority of chiropractors that complete our degrees are self-employed in private practice. Um, usually it's typical for graduates to start the first couple of years working in an established practice. Often we term that working as an associate, but that's not a requirement by law and some students actually will open their practices straight after graduation. For those people that don't want to practice in a clinical setting, either initially or at all, there are opportunities to be employed as a chiropractor in chiropractic sports medicine fields, uh, working alongside other health professionals such as uh, GPs or physiotherapists or exercise physiologists. Chiropractors can also be employed as consultants in allied health areas, uh, including health insurance assessment, uh, medico legal advising, work health and safety offices, in private practice with other practitioners as well. They can be employed as rehabilitation experts and of course, there's always the opportunity to enter academia and to continue in further research. If we have a little look at the expected income for chiropractors, these figures are based on the just over 5,000 clinically registered chiropractors in Australia. And this was based on uh, data for 2018. So if we look at the light red or the light pink shaded areas, that's actually uh, chiropractic and chiropractic students and the darker is across all disciplines. So the major difference with these figures is that the chiropractic average hours per week are based on 36 hours, not compared to the national average of 40 hours. So average starting salary is approximately 84% for the 36 hours worked in comparison to 61,000 for the national average across all disciplines. And after a couple of years in practice, uh, chiropractors average 118,000 as compared to 67,000. Obviously, uh, that's based on the 36 hours average and some chiropractors will work more than that. And of course, the more hours you work, the potential to make more money. So a little bit about the facilities uh, if you study chiropractic at Macquarie. Um, one of the most important things is the resources that we offer. So we do have state-of-the-art facilities that have actually been purposely built to cater exclusively for chiropractic students. These facilities in the chiropractic rooms are not shared by any other students. They are exclusive to those students enrolled in chiropractic degree programs. Um, so we do have purpose-built rooms for radiology, orthopedics, rehabilitation, case management, and radiographic positioning laboratories. So all our students will be eligible to be registered to take x-rays at the completion of their master's degree. And so therefore we expose them to how to take x-rays uh, on the campus uh, with dummy machines until we get them into the clinic where the machines are live and they are x-raying real patients. The top image here is a photograph taken of the anatomy wet lab space and the bottom is, is utilizing a view from our technique facilities. You will see in this bottom photograph, uh, an audio visual on the wall. All our technique rooms are set up with audio visual equipment for presenting multi-directional views in practice classes so that students have great opportunity to see what is happening uh, without actually having to group around a lab space or a table. So one of the strongest uh, aspects of the Macquarie Chiropractic Program is its solid basis in foundation of anatomy and histology. Uh, we have access to the most advanced anatomy labs in Australia, which are located at Macquarie Hospital and our students attend those uh, labs when studying anatomy, where students explore and learn anatomy with the use of cadavers, models, as well as bones. Clinical placement is the other very strong forte of uh, the chiropractic, chiropractic program at Macquarie. So our clinical placements include attendance at two out of the three chiropractic clinics, which are owned by the university. These are located at Summer Hill, Eastwood and on campus, where the students have the opportunity under supervision to actually deliver treatment to public uh, patients. In addition, the students have uh, opportunity to experience off-site fieldwork events and training, 
which are established uh, by the department and the students elect which weekends they would like to attend. We also have opportunity to look after sporting teams. So we look after Macquarie University rugby teams and football teams. Uh, we also look after a geriatric community uh, that's very close to campus. And we are involved with lots of school and community-based health and educational programs. At all times, our students are never left unsupervised. Uh, so at all times, we have a member of staff uh, who's a registered chiropractor and able to take responsibility and assist the students at all times. Uh, in addition to our clinical or hands-on programs, uh, we pride ourselves in having research-driven teaching. So we run an evidence-based approach to chiropractic care. So the use of teaching involves uh, backgrounds with uh, research and guidelines, uh, and that maintains our accreditation so that every student at the end of the degree program has no further assessments to undertake. They just uh, qualify automatically to apply for registration. Uh, every student will do a research project. Um, this can be either done independently or with a group of people. Uh, and again, uh, it emphasises that strong evidence-based approach and focus to teaching and to research and learning. So we have uh, a testimonial from a very recent graduate where David McNaughton states the five years that he spent studying chiropractic at Macquarie has set him up for lifelong career as a clinician. And he states the friends that you make in the course and the skills you learn are invaluable. And I think that is something that is very unique to the chiropractic program. Because you are working as a team, uh, in a team of people, you'll find that you'll get to know the people that you're working and studying with very, very closely. And it does establish uh, lifelong friendships. And, and that's not just social friendships, but certainly uh, a, collegial, uh, a collegial environment whereby you can actually uh, discuss cases with each other. Uh, and we find that that assists people throughout the course of their professional career. So we have uh, an Instagram account and a Twitter account, which can be found uh, under those labels.